I was a medical imaging lecturer at Arrow and we had this idea that we could do a lot of the simulation in a virtual reality. We were doing that for a few years and it was working quite well and we got a knock on the door saying could you do this in midwifery? So the obvious answer is yes and then try and work out how to do it. I've never delivered a baby so we relied on all the content knowledge from the local team here and we were able to put their knowledge in with our development team to develop a world first actually for our, which is great, a virtual reality birthing scenario which the nurses and the midwives will be using. So the basic scenario that both nursing and midwives are working with is that Zara is a heavily pregnant woman. She comes into the primary birthing unit in advanced labour and the student is the one that has to deal with that situation. It just gives the students a real opportunity to practice how they are going to be as midwives. From a first year level, just being able to go into the virtual reality, it just means that they become a little more used to the situation that they're going to. Some of these young women have never been in a birth, so to be able to go into virtual reality and actually be acclimatised to working in that is really helpful for them. It felt quite realistic actually getting in there today and birthing the baby. <laughs> so we just had to encourage the woman, do the general obs on the lady and get some history, do the labour support that we would do and catch the baby and everything that comes after that. It was amazing. It feels so real being in there and it's just so cool that we can actually do that. When you're standing there waiting for the baby to come, that feeling's still the same and I did find myself talking to the woman through the contractions and things like that, like I would with a real woman. Just going to have a wee listen of baby. Oh, that sounds lovely. Baby sounds very happy. What we're planning is that we can add on the extras that the students need to learn. So in second year, when they're starting to work with more complex women, that we can actually maybe stop the virtual reality. We're looking at the, the ways that we can expand and grow this from a midwifery perspective.